Welcome to Fanside Presents the Bun Sons, and I'm Owen, and I'm Riley. presents the Bun Sons. I'm Owen and I'm Riley and today we have the 2018 and 2020 NASCAR Wheeling, Wheeling Modified Tour Champion Justin Bunsen here. Hey guys Justin. thanks for having me on. So we're gonna ask you a few questions. Um, Riley's gonna start then I'll ask mine. Okay. So my first question is how did you and Phoenix Communications Inc get hooked up? It's a very good question, actually. So it's through a mutual friend. Uh, he started as a really big fan of ours, this guy named Rob. Uh, he, he would go to all the races with his brother and his, and his nieces, and he um, had done business and, and worked with Mark and, and Phoenix Communications and got us, um, got us in conversation, and Mark had never been to a race before. Mark is the owner of, of Phoenix, and uh, he'd never been to a race, and uh, Thompson Speedway is – is really close to where he lives. So we were able to, um, to get him to go, uh, come to one of our races that night. He had a small sticker on the front of the car and, uh, we were actually doing really well and got caught up in a crash. And, um, ironically enough, there's a, uh, the NBC broadcast when we were trying to fix the car in the, in the infield, put his logo right on TV and that got him hooked. Uh, and that was in 2016. So we've, since then, uh, <laughs> since that day, he's been the primary sponsor on our teams ever since. So, um, that's really cool. Yeah, great relationship. It's kind of a kind of a weird one how it got started. I'm kind of ironic, but it's uh, it's a lot of fun, and they're good people. <laughs> um, my second one is: you have been with your team for many years. T can you talk about Ken M Master Motorsports? Yeah, that's uh, another very good question. So, Ken and I. Uh, we met through, um, through a gentleman back in 2009. Ken, at the time, did not own any race cars. He was a fan. Him and his kids would go to the racetracks. I actually have a photo. Uh, his wife has a photo of, of me and his sons uh, sitting at my family-owned car in 2007 or 2008 before I even knew them. Uh, so they would go to the races and watch, and uh, he just wanted to get into it. And um, like I said, we got hooked up. We met once, uh, had a very good meeting, went back the second time and, and Ken started the conversation with that. He bought a race car and that I was going to be his driver. So, um, we started towards the end of 2009 and started on a tour full time in 2010. And we've been together ever since. I think this, I guess this will be our 12th season together, which is, uh, the longest of any driver owner combination in our series. It's, uh, it's a great partnership. Uh, we've got a great team and, and Ken and his, his wife, Janine and their kids are like, uh, like a second family to me. We, uh, we spend a lot of time together. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So now yeah, I'll ask really how did you get your start in racing? Um, my dad and his brothers owned a go-kart business. They sold and sold parts and, um, built go-kart engines back in the eighties and nineties. And, um, when I turned old enough to start racing, uh, they all stopped my, me and my cousin and I, Kyle, who races on a tour were about the same age. Um, and a couple of my other cousins and my brother, Matt, uh, we all started racing go-karts and we traveled all over, uh, all over the United States. We raced, uh, up and down the East coast, we raced in the Midwest. We did a lot of national event races, um, did very well, won a lot of races and national championships and, um, from there moved into race cars and, and then into modifieds and, and, uh, you know, doing a modified tour now. That's cool. So our final question is describe your championship season in 2018, because it looks like you dominated eight wins in 16 races. Yeah, that's a, I like that question. Um, <laughs> 2018 was a great year. Uh, we actually, there's, there's a lot too that we, we made a chassis change and a, a crew chief change. Uh, over that off season and wasn't really sure what to expect came out of the gates and um, did really well at our first race we won I think uh, the next couple and then just went on a, a crazy streak you know we were running if we weren't winning we were finished in second or in the top five almost every week and uh, had a shot to win almost every race and uh, that was just uh, a dream season that you can never you can never you can't even really dream it not you're not 
not a, any racer ever will think they could go out and be able to accomplish that. They, they want to, and they hope to, but to actually go out and do it, it's just, uh, it was really special. And, you know, for that to be my first championship and the way we did it after so many years of trying that felt, uh, even more satisfying. And, and it was great to, uh, to get to that level of the sport. Well, thank you. And it's been so nice to talk to you. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Hopefully we can see and, you in a modified race one day. That'd be great. That and be awesome. um, I drew this picture of your car. Whoa, that's pretty good. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I like that. <laughs> I, we hope you, we can see you at a track sometime. And thanks. Thanks. Bye. I hope so too. Bye. Nice to meet you.